The Bank of Canada has raised interest rates by 75 basis points this morning. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now with the latest insight on this move. Sean, as always, thanks for your time here today. So is this what the market was expecting? Yeah, for sure, Janet. Great to be with you here this morning. This was what the market was expecting. It's uh, where the bulk of economists' forecasts uh, were, were being laid. There were, there were some that were saying a 50-point rise would be more prudent. Well, some were even saying a full 100-point uh, rise would uh, be good, and that, that's actually what was done in, in the last meeting. Um, so even though it was expected, th this is the fifth raise this year, and it brings the rate to 3.25%. That's actually the highest since 2008, if you can believe it. And uh, now the questions begin. Uh, what happens from here? So this hike is being referred to as a restrictive territory. What exactly does that mean, Sean? Yeah, all of a sudden we're hearing uh, a lot of people talk about this rate hike to 3.25%. A lot of the financial journalists are saying, you know, this moves us into restrictive territory. So that is where borrowing costs weigh on economic growth. Uh, the Bank of Canada has been focused on what they've called a soft landing for the economy, but they've now passed their initial target interest rate range. Earlier in the year, they were shooting to try to be between 2 and 3%. Now we're at 3.25. So we've blown through that. Uh, Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem also said that the Canadian economy also continues to be in a position of excess demand. So uh, obviously borrowing costs are uh, mortgages, variable rate loans, obviously that impacts a lot of people in agriculture uh, for sure as there's a lot of debt out there. This is, uh, this is definitely getting more costly than we were for sure 24 months ago. Sean, the Bank of Canada meets again during October. Are economists expecting another increase at that time as well? Well, the Bank of Canada earlier in the year said, you know, once they got past 3%, then it would all come down to the economic data. And that's exactly where we are now. It, it does take six to eight quarters for the full impact of rate hikes to show themselves. So I think overshooting, uh, going way past, you know, being too aggressive, too hawkish in your rate hikes is, is a real concern for the Bank of Canada and other central banks around the world as these hikes continue. Uh, the Canadian economy overall has shown a lot of signs of, of slowing here in the second half of the year. Things like housing prices, uh, sales volumes on houses have fallen from the early peak in, in the spring, and, and that's uh, of great concern. So we'll all sit by and wait and see what the Bank of Canada does, and uh, obviously all eyes are also on some of the verbiage of the Federal Reserve uh, as they deal with some of these same issues. All right, Sean, as always, thank you very much for your insight. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, connecting with us today. Go online to realagriculture.com for more information and catch his show on Real Ag Radio that airs at 4.30 Eastern each weekday afternoon on Rural Radio 147 on Sirius XM. And, of course, we'll chat with him here on the Market Day Report again tomorrow morning.